It is a women's strawweight matchup between Paige Van Zandt and Marina Moroz. Well, some would argue she is the most talented boxer, pure boxer to ever step foot inside the UFC octagon. She wants to be an MMA fighter, but her boxing is certainly her go-to. Yes, her boxing is her go-to, and it's shown in all the championships, right? She went into this UFC career a very well-rounded fighter, but it all starts with her base. It starts with the boxing base, the ability to move, the ability to find comfort in the head movement, the jab. It's almost like her head is going on a triangle. It's just never in the middle. So where you're throwing, her head's already off that, and as you throw and miss overextend, she's already countering and landing her attacks. It's truly, truly a sight to see whenever she's really, really feeling good in it. All right, so here's the mixed martial arts superstar Paige Van Zant. This is a fighter's fighter, DC. She could do any number of things when it comes to her celebrity and her profile. She wants to fight in the UFC, and she's back tonight. She wants to be inside the octagon because she understands that before the UFC and before all these things, she was a fighter. Yeah. She came here to try and build a career. And by building a career, she built a second career outside of fighting from Dancing with the Stars to the swimsuit edition. All of it, though, is based on her ability to win fights. When you go back and you watch some of her victories, the Alex Chambers victory and the jumping kick against Beck Rollins, you understand the level of martial artist that Paige Van Zandt is. She has missed a lot of time due to injury, missed all of 2017, had an arm injury that kept her out most of 2018, now plying her trade as a flyweight. We'll see how it goes for PBZ here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a boxer, only a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Marina, Iron Lady. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A freestyle fighter holding a professional record of eight wins, five losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Portland, Oregon, 12-gauge Paige Bazaar. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Well, for all the places we go in the world, you can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Open April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows seemingly every other month ever since. They call Vegas the fight capital of the world. And if you're talking about a home base for the UFC, you're talking about T-Mobile Arena, home to some of the biggest UFC events ever. UFC 200, Conor McGregor versus Khabib Nurmagomedov. This place has been the home of some of the biggest UFC fights in history. Tonight, you get to take the same walk to that octagon to try to make your mark on the sport. Way to hide that leg kick. Moroz gets caught with that punch. Oh, the right hand is there for her. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. They're certainly getting after it early. Clinch. Oh, she's got as good a tie clinch as anybody in this division, and she has gotten the tie plum here. She got the tie clinch because she's so well-versed in going and securing that position. Great job. Nice body kick. Punch over the top. Trying to kick the leg out. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh! Oh, 
straight right. Moreau's going for the head kick here. She misses, telegraphed that shot. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Paige Van Zandt. Right hand on point. Oh, huge man of the body, that'll soften her up. Game of inches right there, boy, wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick land. Massive knee to the body land. The Rose's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Straight right hand, but she misses. Plus right hand is true. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Combination lands for her there. She would seem to be in the zone. Is that something you feel as a fighter? I like that. Yes, she's in the zone. She everything that she throws seems to be fine at start. Van Zant gets caught with that punch. Oh wow, how about the roundhouse kick? Spinning back fist. Ninety seconds to go in the opening round. Just missed with the left there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Effective strike there by Moroz. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Real sneaky body kick. All right, so there's that kick to the leg, and you can be sure she's going to go back to the well with that. She's beating up that lead leg, dominating it, and slowing down her opponent. Look for her to continue doing that same technique. 45 seconds remain in the round. Man, how good is her jab? And there it is again. So that jab has been in her opponent's face from the opening. It is crazy to watch this, John. It's amazing for us to sit here and watch someone with an understanding of the striking and an understanding of the jab being first as she is showing us tonight. 20 seconds to go. Oh, nice leg kick by her there, DC. Now we'll see if she can follow it up. Landed it beautifully. She's so fast with that strike. Oh, huge connection by her there. Massive shot lands. How's she gonna try to find the next shot that'll finish the fight? Oh, and oh, it's in there deep. There you go. Oh, nice. All right, so a huge round for her there, DC. At one point, trying to kick her head off her body. Take us through the highlights, man. I mean, it looked like she was trying to kick it right off of her shoulder. She did a really good job of just finding her shots. She understood that her opponent was not seeing the head kick. So she went to the well. She went to the well multiple times, okay. and she will continue to do that until her opponent stops her. It's okay. You just got caught. Move this round to... You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. And she lands a punch there. We'll see if she can start to turn these singular strikes into combinations now. She's going to have to find something to follow that big strike that she's landing over and over again. Rose's lower jaw does not look good. I'm not sure it could be. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh! <laughs> big kick lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Another clinch position. Big punch lands through the middle. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and she lands another punch here, and you can tell at this point she's targeting the cut on her opponent's side. As she should be. She should be targeting the cut. It's there. That is her work, right? right. That right. was not an accident. Her opponent did not fall down and cut her eye. 
One of her strikes cut her eye. Scrambled eggs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she still stands. Oh, oh. Oh, nice jab. That one landed clean. Look at the turtles in that kick. And there she goes, using her jab effectively yet again. Her opponent's got to raise that guard where this fight could end soon. Well, she's going to have to do something. I think she needs to move her head off the center line because hands go up, the jab goes to the body, then the jab goes to the head. If you start worrying too much about her jab at the top, she'll just start pounding that jab right to your midsection, which, which then will just empty the gas tank. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, she told us she wanted to kick more in this one tonight, and she is certainly doing that to great effect. She is doing it, and she's being very effective. She is winning the fight with her legs. Beautiful hit. Rose gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Liver kick. Let's get some points. Let's get that takedown going. Nice loop and punch. Real quick leg kick. Take many of those, you better check. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. She's going back to that patented straight right hand, unable to connect. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Man, she might punch harder than you. Nice connection there. I don't know about that, Tom, but she is a fast, active striker. It may not look like she's hurt uh, to the blind eye, but she's getting stunned. You keep taking that. It'll be a short night. Oh, and she just continues to land that jab, keeping her opponent at distance. She's making this look like a video game. I mean, she's making it look like a video game. It's unreal to watch her pop that jab. It's like you're wanting a J check before her. Fast movements. Jab always started everything. In well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Lands the right hand. So the unofficial numbers strong to quite strong. 114 total strikes and counting, which have landed for Paige Van Zandt. Well, hitting on one out of every two, landing with 50% accuracy tonight against Paige Van Zandt. Nice punch, man. Oh, she continues to pour it on. She is landing at will, eternally aggressive with her striking. And she also has a pretty good gas tank, so she doesn't appear to be worried about that. And that's the end of round number two. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. remain in the fight. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Nice. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Spinning back fist. 
DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing, accuracy, and also the activity level is great tonight. Oh, she didn't telegraph that one at all. Spinning back fist. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, she connected with the knee of the body there, and this is something she saw on film, that her opponent left that body open, and she barged right through that hole. She's taking advantage of a weakness, and she'll look to continue doing the same thing. She's so fast, so straight, everything just perfect. Everything perfect, every strike, every kick, every punch. Everything's just perfect. Her opponent in a world of trouble. She landed that punch in the exact spot that she needed to. All right, so the narrative in this one continues to be her educated jab and once again using that weapon to keep her opponent at bay. She started to write the story in round one and she has continued down the path to victory behind a beautiful jab. What a phenomenal, phenomenal boxer we are watching tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch lands over the top. Powerful leg kick lands. She missed with that jab. She lands a kick there. She might be the best kicker in this division. She may just be the best kicker in this entire division. She does a great job of using that as a way to dominate a fight. And there's a takedown attempt. Moreau's able to land there. She's able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that kick strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Well, she's got a good jab, missed with it there. That shot blocked by Moroz. Well, she's landed some good shots, but kind of point fighting a little bit, right? Nothing in terms of combination. Oh! Oh! with that big right hand. Whoa! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase Whoa! the fish. Oh, no! Oh, big left hook there! Good stick. They're going at it now. Is right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Tried to land the punch, but a swing and a miss by Van Zant. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Pretty good right hand. Final seconds of the fight. Straight punch land. Oh, spinning back this for her out of nowhere. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, and she really put it all together on the feet as we show you some of the highlights from the fight. It's all come full circle for this young lady. She said on Thursday that we would see a better version of her than we did the last time she was in the octagon. I will take that a step further and say that this is the best we've ever seen. She should win a pretty clear decision. The official decision Ladies is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-26.
for the winner by unanimous decision, Marina Iron Lady Monroe! Watch the judges are unanimous in their decision. She gets it done tonight. Big tests lie ahead. Tonight she passed this one. You knew right away that this would be her toughest fight. And it showed itself in the octagon. Her opponent is a very skilled fighter. So the finish did not present itself. So 